Let's get more on this story. I am now joined by Grigol Yulokidze in Tbilisi. He is the director of the Foreign Policy Council. Grigol, thank you so much for joining us on the programme this evening. Now, Russia Thanks. are accusing Ukraine of attacking a warship in the Black Sea guarding pipelines. Ukraine have not yet responded, but could this be part of the long-awaited counteroffensive? I don't think so. I think that right now Ukraine is still preparing its counter counteroffensive and is in active communication with uh, its Western partners. And that the main recommendation that comes from the, uh, let's say, strategic partners is to wait, to wait for uh, some period again in order to uh, make the level of uh, uh, readiness even uh, higher and get even more weapons which will be um, uh, having a dramatic impact and game-changing importance in this counter-offensive. My short answer is no, it is not yet. Okay, not just yet. But let's talk about Bakhmut. I mean, the Wagner Group admitted 20,000 Russian soldiers were killed during the fight. This is a huge death toll over a city that many analysts have said is not that significant. Has the death toll been worth it? Well, Wagner has been very visible on the front lines in recent weeks and is always quick to take credit for Russian advances. Wagner's fighters were heavily involved in the capture of for example, Solidar, and the Ukrainian military intelligence report dated December 2022 stated that Wagner poses an exceptional threat at close quarters, even having suff suffered extraordinary casualties, as you have mentioned, because as the report mentioned, the death of thousands of Wagner sol soldiers have no meaning for Russian society. Also, the report states shock groups do not withdraw without an order. Unauthorized withdrawal from the group is punishable by execution on the spot. Uh, wounded Wagner fighters often remain on the battlefield for hours. Assault infantry cannot take the wounded of uh, the battlefield alone. And the major part of the uh, Wagner group soldiers are convicts, tens of thousands of whom Wagner recruited often make up the first wave of the attack and suffer the heaviest casualties as much of as much as 80 percent and uh, it is worth uh, mentioning the interview of uh, one uh, wagner soldier captured soldier and he says that uh, uh, he describes how he was recruited into the Wagner group. According to his accounts in August and September 2022, Yevgeny Prigozhin flew by helicopter to the prisons where they were held and offered uh, them six month contracts in ex exchange for a pardon. And it was a tempting offer, especially for prisoners who had long sentences. Uh, and after Prigozhin's visits, hundreds of prisoners were transported by bus and plane to a training ground. It means that the Wagner Group, from this point of view, has a lot of resources because there are a lot of convicts in Russia. Now to Belgorod. Ukraine have denied any involvement there, but surely this is an embarrassment for Russia. Sure, it is. We have uh, once again saw the. We have seen once again how vulnerable, unprotected, and mal prepared the. Uh, Russian armies. And the operation that was carried out in Belgorod was a huge psychological strike, attack on the combat moral of uh, the Russian army. I'm very actively watching and monitoring uh, Russian TV channels and the uh, narratives of the main propagandists of the Russian Federation, and they are very angry, shocked, and astonished because this is the um, let's say, continuation of, uh, of the special military operation, as they call this war, in a very uh, dramatic and sad uh, direction. Uh, and the only thing that right now works effectively in the Russian Federation is 
the state propaganda. From this point of view, this is the only war that Vladimir Putin is winning. And that's why I'm very often joking that if Vladimir Putin had said on February 24, 2022, that Russians are going to liberate Ukrainians from the um, invasion of Martians, the most of Russians would have believed in it. Gregor Yulukidze, thank you so much for your insight.